Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Snowflake. In this tutorial, we are going to see what are the supported regions by the Snowflake. Before going to see what are the regions supported by the Snowflake, let's understand what are the supported cloud platforms. These supported cloud platforms are Amazon Web Services or AWS. The second one is Google Cloud Platform and third one is Microsoft Azure or Azure. So these are the cloud platforms are supported by Snowflake. Now, once we understand the supported cloud platforms, so each of these platform has their own region support. So the same regions are supported by Snowflake as well. Let's see the broader categories of these regions. So we have three main categories. One is North America, which includes North America and Canada. Then we have the European region and Asia specific region. We are going to see the details of the locations or the regional locality for each of these regions. So let's start with North America regions. We have categorized North America regions based on the cloud platform supported. So first category is AWS that is Amazon Web Services. Second one is cloud by the in Google and the third one is Microsoft Azure. For North America region, AWS supports US West, which is in Oregon, US East, that is in Ohio, then US East, another region, North Virginia, and in Canada, its central location. So these are supported by AWS. For Google Cloud, Cloud Platform, it is supported only one location, that is US Central, Iowa. For Microsoft Azure, North America regions include West US, Central US that is in Iowa, East US that's in Virginia and Canada Central in Toronto. These are the locations are supported by respective cloud platforms in the North America region. Let's move ahead with the European region. European region has categorized into two main uh, regions. One is uh, European Union and the second is United Kingdom and each of these regions they have the specific locations. So AWS supports European Union in Ireland in, again in United Kingdom it is London and in European Union it is Frankfurt. For case of Google it supports Europe West which is in London location and Europe West another location in the Netherlands. On other hand, Microsoft Azure supports North Europe in Ireland location, West Europe in Netherlands and it has a location in Zurich with a Switzerland North. As like North America, the European regions are, these are the locations supported by each of these cloud platforms. Let's move ahead with the Asia specific region. As we can see in the diagram, it includes Japan, India, Australia and Singapore. So same are mentioned uh, for our cloud platforms as well. Here if, if you notice, there is no region supported by Google cloud platform. Only regions supported are by Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Amazon Web Service supports Asia specific in Tokyo, Seoul, Mumbai, Singapore and Sydney. On the other hand, the Microsoft supports in Tokyo, Singapore and New South Wales. So these are the, all the regions supported by each platform and indirectly by the Snowflake. Now let's understand how the support comes with all these regions. Regardless of what kind of Snowflake edition you are using, there will be a, a 24 by 7 coverage will be received based on your premier support agreements. The support is from Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. across all the regions. But time zones will vary depending on which geographical location 
this region belongs to. If it is North America region, then the time zone supported is PST. If it is European region, then it is a CET. If it is Asia specific region, then it is AEST. So these are the time zone supported. Now, as we understand in this tutorial, the Snowflake supports various regions based on the geographic location for which the account is created. So this is about the various regions supported by Snowflake and the time zone supported. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or queries, then you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. If you find this video tutorial is helpful to understand Snowflake little more better, then please do not forget to subscribe my channel and also like this channel. Thank you and have a wonderful time.